I'm on my way to meet my friend Dave. He's gonna take me fishing today. And today we're actually gonna be doing some fishing with a different technique that I haven't done but maybe one or two other times. And we're not using rods and reels. We're actually gonna be using a hand line and dropping baits down deep. We're gonna let those float on a buoy and we're gonna check it. Once we see that buoy go under that water, we'll know that there's a fish on and then it's a race to beat the sharks. Could catch tuna, could catch rainbow runner. Heck, we could catch anything for that matter, but it should be a lot of fun. I can't wait to do this. And it is 7 a.m. and I better get to the ramp before I miss movement. So I'll see you guys out on the water. Oh, you just hook them through the eye. Yeah, the rest of them are so soft. Okay, you can bump us ahead a little bit. You don't want it to go straight down, because all happens is the leader is all wrapped. Okay. So what you do is keep the boat moving, you put a lightweight, and the whole thing goes down like this. Okay, so you have two of these floats. Yeah. I guess if, if you got a big fish and you pull one down, that's a good backup for an extra large fish, huh? Two weeks ago I had a marlin on. On a float line? Yeah, well I'm looking at my float rig and the float's right there and there's something jumping around it. And, Whoa, there's a marlin out there. Next thing you know, there goes my float rig, there goes the marlin. <laughs> it was on the bottom leader, finally broke it. But exciting while it lasted. That would have been something if you would have landed that. I've caught him before. Have you really? Yeah. Wow. I've caught Onos. To me, this is like such an efficient way to go fishing, you know? Oh, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, the trick is don't step in it once you got it in. <laughs> All right, we got the first fish on. You can see that buoy, it's going under the water. Second one, starting to get a little stress. Oh yeah. See that? Okay. All right, let's see this. Did your friend that showed you how to do this give this a name for the technique? Is it? Floater fishing. Floater fishing, okay, that works. What's that other line doing? Uh, what is that? Where is it? Oh, it looks like it's going under. Is it? It is, it's going under too. That didn't take too long, did it? Starting to see some color down there. Oh, there he is. Welcome to Aku World. There you go. Nice. Oh, that's pretty. It's amazing it doesn't get all tangled up, huh? <laughs> it sure looks like it. Yeah, would, but... looks like a mess, doesn't it? But that... Okay, so we were gonna call it quits and then came out to pull this float line and there's another Aku on there. What do you think he is, about five, six pounds? Yeah, I like that, nice fish. Yeah, look at those pretty colors too, I love that. Alright, gonna try some deep drop. So we're targeting 100 fathoms? 
60. 60, okay. We just saw uh, bottom dropped and got two nice taape. That was pretty cool. We're gonna eat them sashimi style. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> nice little piece of sashimi. Mmm, good. All right, I got that Aku in the cooler. He didn't quite fit, so his tail's sticking out. But I uh, better get him home. <laughs> That's cool. So let's go ahead and get that Aku out. This is uh, my new cooler that I'm trying out. It's a lot more heavy duty than just the standard igloo. And so far, it's been holding ice really nicely. So I'm pretty happy with it. Here's that fish. And I, I cut off the tail because it wasn't gonna fit unless I did. Nice looking fish there. So this is a bubble blade, nine inch blade. So that's nine inches, that's 22 inches. And then this tail section, I don't know how much that is. Let's get an estimate. It's about another six inches. So, about a 28 inch fish. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's a bunch of cheering in the background. And I believe 2019 Iron Man is getting ready. The, the first place person is getting ready to cross that finish line anytime now. There. Very nice piece of meat there. There we go. Getting rid of that bloodline. That way we got nice. Beautiful meat. Look at that. Look at those. those are... That's, that's super fresh. And this thing was swimming around just two days ago. So we're gonna make some poke with it. We're gonna make some seared tuna. And probably some burgers. One of the plans is to take all of these little trimmings right here. And I'm gonna mash them up. And then I'm gonna make aku burgers. So that'll be That'll be interesting. 
So a little trick that I learned if you go over by the cooler is uh, to squeeze all the air out of this thing, you take your fish, put it in your bag, and then almost close it, push it down into either a bucket of water. In this case, I got it in a cooler full of ice. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna push, it's gonna push all that air out of my bag so it gets a nice close contact with the fish so I don't get freezer burn. But honestly, I don't know if these fish are gonna make it that far. As you can see, it's pretty well, it's, it's, air is pretty much gone, but I'm gonna, ooh, my hands are cold. <laughs> okay, so one of the things I'm gonna do, and I just kinda came up with this on my own. There's a lot of meat in here. So I'm gonna just spoon this stuff out. Today, I'm going to make Aku burgers. We're gonna take this beautiful fresh fish. We're gonna kind of mash it up, add some egg, add some peppers, a little seasoning, some celery and onion, and some panko breadcrumbs to hold it all together. We're gonna make these into some patties now. I guess that's enough. You want them thick or thin for you, Christy? Thin. There's a patty. That. All right, we got some oil heated up at about medium heat. Okay, those patties have a nice golden brown color. Aku tuna burger on a bun with this delicious, amazing wasabi sauce. Whoa, look at that. Perfect fit. And there you go. Aku tuna burger with wasabi sauce. All right, there's that wonderful Aku burger. Let's try it out. Mmm. Good. What do you think? It's delicious. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. <laughs>